Alrighty everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Another day, really polishing out these days here during the Christmas week. Uh, I did throw air in the tires and the sensor came off. Um, I know some people did actually tell me that it might be the spare. So I was really shocked that the spare would even read on the, uh, the dashboard. But it's a very good possibility because the back tires are very, very strong and the front tires seem very strong as well. And then people also asked me if I was really right about the 80 PSI's. Now this camera doesn't focus, but I'll try to show you here. Hopefully that works. Bottom one says 80 PSI. And the top one says 65 PSI. So it's a heavier weighted vehicle other than my Jeep. I think my Jeep is like 33 or 35. Um, and that's why it's kind of, you know, it's a higher amount. I would assume tractor trailers are a lot more than 80 PSI on the amount of air that you put in the tire. Uh, so just based off your vehicle, it wasn't like I completely read it wrong. It's just different vehicles, different tires. They all require a different kind of stuff. So uh, we're going to do some trash picking this morning. I'm not really expecting to find much because of the holidays, but I figured, you know, this is probably going to be a very, very slim week and anything and rather than just taking the whole week off from you guys I really want to get out there and try to get something out so let's go out there see what's in the trash today and let's make it a fun day let's do it all right see this is kind of a shade out here i'm gonna grab this this looks gorgeous that's really nice what do you guys think Might even, I might put that up front. Unless I have my bin still up there. I constantly forget to bring a bin. This is risky. I still have my bin back here. Put that, that won't break. I really like that. I don't, I don't know much, uh, what that goes to. Since that's all rusted out, I'm not going to grab that because I know once I take that log off, all that charcoal is going to go everywhere. So, I'll just, it's not really that much, but it's not that much metal. But I'm not going to make a whole mess out here just for that. Oh my goodness. Oh. This property has a tagline that says condemned. It's got locks on it, everything. Got thousands of paperwork. Wow. Grab some metal. Might be some cool things in there. These are always fun to take apart. I don't know if eh, is a little bit going up. I think it is. Very minimally it is. Because this is aluminum. in there? It feels like it's in there. I don't know. It feels like it's in there, so I might grab that. Don't really, don't really see much over there. A lot of that's plastic. Just welcome to the lake sign. Somebody who has a cabin at the flea market might want that. I guess all this trash on this road was picked up. It looks like the main roads generally get picked up first and then they do all the side streets. So I bet to the left, there's a lot of stuff. There is. 
terms of a lot of stuff. There are still recyclables out here. Uh, a lot of stuff in terms of they haven't picked up the trash. They did that road. Uh, usually I run up to this side of the town. Curious why, like, some of these recycling cans are empty. So, do the people, I guess, either, I don't think they just missed them. I think they just probably put out too late. Got a dog on the left. This side, uh, yep. Alright, good. Got a road over here that doesn't look like it. Oh, never mind. Might be picked. Yep. these uh, aluminum screens. I've never seen them in black. Or maybe I have. I just haven't seen them in probably a year or so. I was going to say, that's in good shape, but it's not. It's broken. Alright, so that looks like it's going to be that it. That's going to be it for, uh, oh, nope, let's go this way. That will not be it. What's that on the right? It looks like a reindeer. Oh, I wonder if we're going to find, I'll, I'll see if that's metal. They usually are. Sometimes they're plastic. I've never seen one of those smaller crew not a crew cab a regular cab that might just be a kit for an older jeep i don't think yeah no that's not that it's not the jl that's the that's the jk model yep wonder if we'll find a ton of these now and i was really hoping we'll find a ton of vintage christmas coming up you guys know my obsession with blow molds but now with holiday season ending uh, I just had that feeling that people will be throwing away stuff that, like, they're... They're like, you know what? That big Santa we had, we've been storing it for 30 years. Takes up so much space. Maybe we'll just throw it out. So I'm kind of thinking that might happen shortly, but who knows? Yeah, that's, uh, it's the JK model, but it's, it's probably a kit. Like, they cut it they cut down the uh, the backing. They made them to a truck. It's not a. It's not one of those gladiator Jeep gladiators. But we're going to be moving on. I think that's it for trash picking. I try going down another two streets, and one I end up behind a garbage truck, and then the other one, uh, which is already picked over. I might take a left here just because I don't know what that is up there. It's like an alleyway. I see a TV over there. That's not moving. All right. Uh, let's see what this is. Electric eye, eye camera automatic 100. So let's type this in on, on eBay. Polaroid electric. It's a 100. All right. Electric. Probably just do electric. It'll probably pop up. One for nine nine hundred electric nine hundred popped up. That's the nine hundred. This is the one hundred. Wait, that looks exactly like the same box. No, it doesn't. Uh, okay, let's see what's going on here. Sold. Probably do sold. Four fifty nine hundred. I want the model one hundred apparently. 99 cents. Wow, that's big doings. 750. All right. So it's not really worth anything. It's seven dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> One sold for a dollar. Uh, but it feels like it's in there. I guess I'll just open it up and see. Maybe there's money in there. Save this card. Polaroid camera. This says keep on it. that out looks like it's almost been never used 
I don't even know how that looked on camera, but it's there. It is there. Alrighty. So, made it to the warehouse. Showed up with the brother. So, I think we're going to throw up some. Wow. <laughs> you got a lot of stuff in here. He How's says, the stuff going to get out of here? Uh, so, yeah, that's the thing. I think uh, probably like April. April is when the flea market opens. So, is that a long, long way away? Just a few months, you know, all winter. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I guess he's right. Do got a couple months here. It's not too bad. I remember last year it was way more packed, but I remember last year I had all boxes and bins. This year it's just kind of like I just threw stuff on top of other stuff. Uh, you guys might remember some of these finds. You got the Corona bottle over here, that grass spreader, the angel I got out of the uh, the one storage locker. There's a couple boxes over here. These I got out of the trash. So yeah, this is one of the boxes that I got from the from the uh, the storage locker. This is a barometer that I found in the trash. There was one actually one thing a lot of people actually a lot of people told me that there was one piece in here that was worth a decent amount. It was actually the brass bells. I think these are them. So I might put these aside. Oh, those are kind of nice. Yeah, you want them? Where you, where would you where would you hang those up? I don't know. Probably like near the door, somewhere in the front. Put them, put them by the door. I guess. Your, I mean, call your friends in when you're ready for them to come over. Yeah, dinner's ready. I don't know. When I saw the photo on eBay, it was actually a lot bigger than that. But I don't know. We'll put this over here. This is actually a whole eBay pile I had. These are all like small figurines. I got them at the uh, the auction by me. I think they're made by Namco or. Taiwan and at the time they were selling for three packs for ten bucks and they were selling and there's a ton in there but I'll have to get to that that's been there for probably over two years uh, we're going to throw some license plates up on this wall I know it's been a while since I've really put license plates up here but I have a whole pile here that got to go up so I'm going to try and finish this one column what are you going to put up there next? Two, four, five. We need five plates. We need five plates for our stacks. I don't know what I'm going to put up there next. That's why you're here. Oh, so, well, this one's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that one. Flagship Niagara, yeah. Pennsylvania. Definitely not seen that one before. I don't know how that ever passed as a license plate, because as you guys see, how can you ever tell, like, on the road, that's hanging up on the back of a car? How can you ever see what those letters are? Get the sun. Oh, that's your, got. What are your Canada ones? That's got to go up there. Yeah. But we can't put anything there right now because there's a pile of stuff. Those are all duplicates. Take the Niagara off of that because that's not a duplicate. All right. Those are the ones we have to choose from. What do you think? This one seems like the best one so far. Well, you got to uh, think. The Kentucky one is. Uh, hey. <laughs> Spay or neuter your pets? <laughs> yep. Good advice. So the big thing with the whole license plates is that there can't really be any ones that are really next to each other that are identical. So you can't put an all white plate up next. So you can't put a white and brown plate up next under Minnesota. Yeah. If you put the red and blue, it's really close to the other yeah, red and blue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's cool though, that, that flag. Yeah. There's another one that's a colonial. Oh, that's right, the same one. See, that's a colonial one also, 1976. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that is Missouri. That's Michigan. The Mississippi one is pretty nice. Right. Yeah, it's a little Definitely. white and blue. Yeah. So you need something like this. A green? Yeah, I think that'll work. Cause the next green one's all the way over there. All right, so that's the next one. So put that on top of this. Oh, okay. This, and then we're gonna do Kentucky. Kentucky. Spare, pets, and the flagship Niagara. Well, the white and blue is right next to Nebraska, which is also white and blue. This requires a lot more thought. <laughs> it does. This is why it's taking me forever. Cause it's like, I want it to all look like really mismatched. No, cause then you have two solids next yeah, to each other. Yeah. See, it's not easy. Those are those are international, so those don't go up there. British Columbia. Yeah, the Canadian ones are really cool. Prince Edward Island. I really like the Yukon one. Klondike. Utah. Ooh, this one's kind of. Cool. <laughs> yeah, that's probably my favorite plate out of the whole collection. Is this it's polar bear one? I know she's sent me a couple other plates as well, so I, I greatly appreciate that people have been sending me a bunch of plates, trying to help me complete this project. As you can see, it's been a very very long time. 
All right, so Dilemma has been chosen. We're going Hawaii, then the Utah one, which is very, very basic in comparison to the other ones. That's kind of what we were thinking is that the white and blue, when you get a little bit more blue on it, I don't know. And then we'll finish it off with the flagship, but then we still need two more plates. So once we get these up there, we'll uh, decide that. Perfect. Another another column down. Bro stacks. Go take a gander. Come over here. Let's take a gander at that one. Uh, ladder's kind of screwed up. Yeah, coming along nicely. Now we gotta work on the, uh, the diagonals. I think. So that's gonna that's gonna wrap it up here for today's video. We've been all over. Did some trash picking in the morning. I totally forgot to bring up the uh, the Polaroid camera, but we'll see what happens. Uh, tomorrow's video should be another trash picking video. Back to the whole adventure. I know the uh, the days are gonna be really screwed up because of Christmas this week, but we'll still try and make do with whatever we have. And well, catch you guys next time for the next adventure. And as always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.